hands of whip with regards to the speaker's election group number 6 consists of petition number 21 again filed by legislator belonging to the ubt fraction under 21b with regards to defiance of whip for the confidence motion group number 5 consists of petition number 22 to 24 which has been filed by legislator belonging to the shinde faction under 21a and 21b group 2 consists of petition number 17 which has been filed against certain independents and members belonging to other parties under 2 sub clause 2 so we shall before i proceed with the judgment pronouncement of the order i would like to express my sincere gratitude towards the honorable supreme court of india which has provided an extremely guiding force by way of its order whereby they have given a direction to the whole adjudication of the issues being decided in the proceedings today therefore i would at the outset express my gratitude towards the apex court at the same time i would like to express a acknowledgement and a big thank you to the staff of the state legislature who have assisted me and the paralegal assistance which i have received from them during the course of the conduct of these proceedings pertaining to disqualification i would also like to appreciate the cooperation which i have got from councils appearing on both the sides and i shall now proceed with the pronouncement of the order as we are aware that there are certain preliminary issues which are applicable to all the five groups out of the six groups and therefore i shall first commence with my ruling on the preliminary issues which concern all the five groups thereafter i shall pronounce the operative part of the orders concerning each group and the relevant and uh, important paragraphs pertaining to each group so we shall commence with group number 1 preliminary issues the honorable supreme court in subhash desai supra versus the governor of maharashtra here after referred to as subhash desai was pleased to direct that the speaker should prima facie determine who the real political party is for the purpose of adjudicating disqualification petitions if two or more factions claim to be that political party and accordingly shall recognize the whip and the leader who were duly authorized by the shiv sena political party keeping with the principles discussed in the said judgment hence keeping in view the factual matrix and the directions of the honorable supreme court i will prima facie determine who the political party is for the purpose of adjudicating disqualification petitions if two or more factions claim to be that political party and accordingly recognize the whip and the leader who are duly authorized by shiv sena political party keeping in mind principles discussed in subhash desai supra it is necessary to consider and determine the said preliminary issue before examining the merits and deciding whether respondents have incurred disqualification under the 10th schedule of the constitution of india thus the preliminary issue that arises for my consideration before del delving into the merits of disqualification petitions under the 10th schedule is which among the two fractions was the real shiv sena political party and consequently who was the duly authorized leader and or the whip of shiv sena political party for the purpose of deciding the present disqualification petition the other issue framed for my consideration in this group 
of disqualification petition is whether the respondents have incurred disqualification in terms of paragraph 21A of the 10th schedule of the Constitution of India on account of their alleged acts and conduct. Paragraph 84 deals with the principles which have been laid down by the Honorable Supreme Court. I am not going to 